So, uh, kind of forgot that I was supposed to post a video today, and I have like a billion things to do, but I'm dedicated, <laughs> and I'm here, so here is my video. Um, it's not like I forgot that I was in this collaboration, or that I was supposed to post today, I just kind of forgot somewhere around last night until right before I was going to leave. So, anyway, uh... This week's topic is doctor visits, and I don't know if I can contribute a whole lot as far as being genderqueer and how that affects going to the doctor, um, because it would take a lot of, like, psychological analysis, because I don't like the doctor, but I don't know how much of that has to do with gender. Um, I don't like the doctor. I don't go to the doctor unless I am extremely ill. Unless something is painful, I don't go. And before everybody jumps over me in the comments and says, you know, you should go to the doctor, going to the doctor is healthy, I know that. <laughs> but um, it's one of my extreme fears, so there you go. Um, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it's not because of my gender that I don't prefer doctor visits. It's because I don't prefer doctors. I don't think that most doctors are out to help you. I mean, yes, they want to help you, but only because they want to make money. And uh, if the money is not there, then they are not going to help you in the ways that they should. Uh, that is just my opinion. I'm sure some doctors are awesome. Um, hopefully you can afford them. Uh, and that is my take on doctors. So, yeah, I guess that didn't really talk about anything about being genderqueer and doctors. Um, I can talk about something, though, and that is, uh, this is a really a weird angle, by the way. Oh, well. Uh, I can talk about something, though, and that is, uh, my name change process. Um... I am working on that right now, and I'm doing it in the Bay Area of California, and so maybe that could help some people. Uh, I filled out all of my paperwork with the help of my friend Sarah. There's a lot of paperwork. And I also filled out a fee waiver, which I'm really hoping that um, I will get accepted for that, because if not, it's a couple hundred dollars to apply for the name change. So um, tomorrow I'm going to go to the clerk's office and actually uh, file my paperwork. There they will decide first if my fee waiver will be accepted. Um, if it is, then I don't have to pay. If it isn't, then I'm just going to put it on my credit card. Uh, whatever. And then um, from there, I also get a court date. And I get this piece of paper, which I bring to a uh, newspaper. And the newspaper has to run, uh, it has to run my ad saying um, my current legal name is changing their name to Dylan Waller, or whatever. I don't know exactly what it will say, but I'll update you about it later. Um, and then uh, that has to run for four weeks, then I have my court date, and my name is changed. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. And I actually really do apologize for this video being one take and really short, but um, I have tons to do today. I need to go apply for graduation in the city. Yay! Um, so wish me luck. Um, and I will talk to you all later.